Sup y'all, welcome back to another video by me, Athena. OG K-pop stand since 1998. I'm smiling because of the fact that I am going to be reacting to a video that I've been hoping for to happen or at least upload or exist for the longest time. Taemin's advice, dance, practice. I already know I'm gonna say a lot. Um, I had just filmed my reaction for AT's gorilla dance practice, which was already full of energy and uh, um, exhausting the hell out of me, just, you know, to say. So um, the fact that I'm going right into Taemin's advice dance practice, I'm just uh, living on the edge here. So um, Taemin, in case y'all don't know, or this may be your first video on my channel, from my perspective, Taemin is just such an exceptional artist. I don't like to use the word best because when it comes to art, art is subjective, so you can never say anything is best when you haven't seen it all. However, if someone were to be uh, holding me at water gun point, I don't want to get a cold. So, and if they were like, if you don't want to get a cold and you know, you don't want to get shot by this water gun, who would you say is the best? I would probably say Taemin. There's something so extraordinary about him. Not only is he obviously talented in his vocals and especially his dance and his performance, but the meanings that come behind his music is just so lesson learning. I don't know other no other word to say other than that. Especially advice. Um, so before I get into the dance practice, I do at least want to talk a little about advice. I know I already have a um, reaction for the music video, but the song itself, the more I listened to it and got our, you know, seeped in the meaning of advice, the more I was like, damn, like, Taman, you are so awesome for this. It has like a very call out kind of a purpose, you know, talking about people who are just judgmental. Um, let me just pull up the lyrics real quick so I can point out some certain things I extremely like. So the whole beginning where he kind of uh, puts awareness about people who just like to talk the talk, you know, take you uh, you take me apart however you wish, you say things the way you'd like to, move around the tip of your tongue, you don't get it, get it, the, do you never get the keys to my lock. Like that line is so poetic, it's so artistic, it's just so interesting because, you know, this is my room, right? Like where I'm sitting right here. This is my room. I have a door, right? So, you know, you have a lock to a door. This room is who I'm all about. So if people were to be standing, this is like kind of a figuratively speaking. If people were to be standing outside of my room and, you know, not exactly being able to step in a room to see what I'm all about, but all they can do is just make assumptions about me. You know, I can ask the same question. Do you never get the keys to my lock? No, they don't because if they did have the keys to my lock of the door, that means they'd be able to step in the door and figure out what I'm all about. So the fact that people never get the keys to his lock, that's why he's saying y'all are judgmental, you're crossing a line, you don't know what you're really talking about. So um, that's one part that I was just like, oh my God, that's, that's so uh, poetic. Um, another part, the more you try to trap me, I'll go off the rails, so take a good look. If you wanna see the end, push my buttons. It's for you, want advice? Let's take my own advice. When I saw that, I was like, oh no, when I heard the song for the first time, I saw those lines, I was like, hmm, he's giving, you know, one advice to the people and he's saying, he's saying his own advice. So whenever I thought more and more into that, you know, the whole, if you want to see the end, push my buttons. It seems like that's like the advice. Again, um, I could be reaching here, but again, art is all about reaching. It's subjective. It's up for discussion. But from my perspective, the whole, if you don't want to see um, the end, push my buttons. It's like him trying to say, okay, you know how there's only so much that we can take, right? And there are people out there who will inevitably judge you or just talk about you. That's just the nature of humanity, unfortunately. But um, yeah, there are just people who are just wanting to push you to the edge. And then you keep cool. You stay pretty dormant. Like the way I am now compared to the way I was in my 20s before I let my emotions ran. I wasn't a troublemaker, but I was... I let my emotions speak before I let uh, me think, hmm, should I really, should I say that? Does it make anything better for me? But um, yeah, but this whole thing, if you want to see the end push my buttons, is kind of like, you know, keep, uh, you know, keep trying to tip me over. You'll see what happens. Like, do you really want to see what happens if you keep trying to tip me over? Like, that's my advice to you. And it's like, if he were to take that advice for himself, if you want to see the end push my buttons, it's like him... It's like, if you were to say that quote to yourself, like if I were to say that quote, if I were to say, Athena, if you want to see the end, 
push my buttons. Pushing a button, I always, I, I would see that as like a way to be like, you know, pushing a button, turn it on, turn it on, you know, turn something on, push a button. And it's like, if I don't want to see the end, meaning for me, us as humans, we go through a lot of BS in life, right? But from my own experience, there's always a way. If this path doesn't work, there's another path. There's always a way. That's what I always try to tell myself. So if I don't want to see the end, meaning no other pathways of life, I need to turn myself on and stay aware of that. So I really like that double meaning there, at least from my perspective. So, um, yeah. Okay. I already talked a lot. How long has it been since I've talked? Um, but Taman deserves it. He deserves all the praise that he can get because he works so damn hard. He's about to work harder when I hit the play button to check out this advice dance practice. So in case this is your first video on my channel, I watched dance practices twice. The first time where I don't pause or talk, I watch it for the performance effect. And the second time is where I will pause and talk about the things I like. And knowing how much I love Taman, I will say a lot. But first things first, here we go with Taman's advice dance practice. Voice of Wadena here for a quick pause before we get started. I would like to give a big shout out to my Captain Jack Sparrows over on my Patreon for the super support. I don't mean to be dramatic, but y'all literally help me with keeping my boat, also known as my life, stay afloat along with the rest of the crew. That's got to be the best part I've ever seen. Alright, let's get it. God, how is this moving in real time? Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. God, I love that part. Ooh! What an artist! Ooh! Go ahead! Ooh, the traveling! Texture, goodness, oh. Oh god, this choreography is so sexy. It's sexy AF. Oh. Oh my. Oh, no. the music counts. How is this real time? Okay. 
Oh my God. <laughs> I just came to realize that I'm going to say a lot because there is so much happening. So, this is so Taman-esque. Taman-esque? Um, it's very Taman. Taman has always been an artist that is extremely well at executing popping, texture, performance. There's the dancers too, but I'm just specific, specifically talking about Taman. He doesn't just do choreography. He doesn't just perform. He lives in the character within each specific song. Y'all remember Move, that little move and move. It looks so simple, right? But you got to do it the way he did it to just have us like, you know, wow, it's so alluring. I can't look away. Like he's a predator and we're to pray. That's just rhyme. Um, yeah, so... I will. I can't believe. I know I already said it twice. I can't believe that they are moving in real time. They are moving so freaking fast. I've seen fast choreography in real life, yeah. But with that being said, the like that footwork, they're so damn even, and they hit the musicality, they hit the details, and they hit the execution of the move. It's not sloppy. You see every step for what it is. You see everything for what it is. And I think one of the most impressive parts about this choreography is the fact that he can switch from popping technique to a more, you know, swaggy or just a different kind of aura from popping, from technical sharpness to adding character. And like that little move of him doing this and the little that, like even just a little bit of the head tilt that he does while he does that. I'll point out whenever we get to it. But I'm telling you, he just doesn't perform it. He just doesn't do the dance for what it is. He lives in the character that comes out of him for advice. Oh my God. Okay. Since I'm going to say a lot, let me just go ahead and get right to the second part. So this is where I will pause and talk about the things I like. So here we go with advice. Second time. There is so much kind of like modern art feels that I get from everything, whether it's like a move or the formation, the way he comes alive. Yeah, um, that whole thing. You know how they're all in the beginning together huddled like this, right? And Taman's like the one that comes alive. He does his little things. You can't, I cannot even sit here and point out which musicality they come alive to. It's, it's, it's just up to Taman to do it. But watching it, it's so alluring. It, I can't look away. This is a freaking play. It's a show, y'all. See? More. More of it being up to Taman to uh, see how alive this formation becomes. They're about to go off. Okay, let me go back five seconds. Kick. It's so cool. I love the little touches of like the beginning. It was all about control, stops, sharpness, popping skills. And this part kind of comes a little bit more of the swag. So it's very cool. The ladies are killing it. Okay. Mm -hmm. God. Hey you, hey, it's just uh, the most unpredictable musicality ever. There's so much already going on in the song. The song kind of sounds like structured chaos in a way. So the choreography is already structured chaos. Okay. Hey you, hey you, hey you. Hey. Mm -hmm. Yes. What the what 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 what's the arm detail there? Never get the keys to my lock. Like what the? That's already enough of an entanglement. Wait, wait, is that the right word? Entanglement. I hope so. So yeah, never get the keys. Like that is so crazy, but it's so cool. It fits. Never get the keys to my lock. Yeah, like the little musicalities. It's so cool. So 
this whole concept of this is very uh i feel like it's fitting the do you never get the keys to my lock because that's tough to do and it's like in order for you to get the keys to his lock you have to go through a lot you have to from the figurative speaking of people who judge you have to uh deflate your ego a little bit you have to sit back and stay aware of what am i doing why am i talking about this person when i don't figuratively have the keys to their lock so hmm, okay and now they're about to go off even more and we're only 30 seconds in <laughs> the legs the feet <laughs> it's so fast and as they're doing that they like swing and the uh formation is widening it's spreading it's insane <laughs> okay 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 What? Like the music? Okay, yeah. This is probably one of the most unpredictable musicalities in a choreography ever, from my perspective. See what I mean about the changing up of the feels? Like they just went the crazy, crazy, the pop, pop, all of a sudden slow. You know, it's so many different changes and it's so fast. Like how? Dear God, not only Taemin, but these dancers, they are killing it. Is that sh uh, Shimiji, right? Is that, it, oh, is it? Okay, Um, from La Chita. Okay, I, I could be wrong, but anyways. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Gosh! What, what, what's the musicality then? That's very interesting. Instead of stepping out on the instrumental, the, he steps out on the words. And the, the hip thing. You gotta add... It's not a tame and choreography. We don't have some kind of hip rotation. So I really like that little thing. It's just a nice little groove to kind of just style it there. Okay, five seconds back. And here we go. Mm -hmm. Yes. Like, what the... It's so much muscle memory, not only in your feet, but you got to know when exactly to stick out your arms and to match your detail along at the same time while doing your feet craze. Mm -hmm. Oh, that, seriously, that part is so attractive. Like the fact that they were going all crazy and shit. And all of a sudden they spin it. They do this little bit of a more of, you know, season, like Stalin on the move. It's a lot of that concept in this uh, chorus here, like the doo -doo 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 -doo. like the first you had to step out, right? And here had like the run back and forth, run back and forth, stick out the arms. And right after the spin, they do their little uh, styling. Like it's a very attractive choreography for the song. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. yes. And this part, remember how I spoke about uh, the choreography and making me think of like modern art and choreography? This is, that's all this part screams of. Woo! More unpredictable musicality. God, like this whole part is so highlighted on control they all move together as a group and it's a lot of stops there's a lot of technique <sighs> i also need to point out on could you hear the top 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 if you see their feet it hits the top 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 
ta. And I like that they're not stomping like ta ta ta. Like they're stepping it. But because the ta ta ta, it's not the craziest sounding uh sound. So the tapping or the stepping of the feet to match with that light, it matches very well. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Ooh. Like that uh, rhythm that he just did. Like they did some kind of thing with their arm to match with that. And the oh, oh, oh. They're really highlighting on so many different musicalities here. The whole ta, ta, ta. That's obviously the instrumental that you hear in the background. Then a oh oh, that's his singing. So a lot of jumps in the musicality. God, I'm not even halfway. <laughs> okay. Gosh. And this whole level change, the, the, the like they are so good in their technique. There's nothing sloppy. Everything is so controlled but chaotic at the same time. That's why I can't help but saying that this is structured chaos. And that's exactly what I get from advice in the first place. Okay. And the whole as they're like doing this little thing when they're in their lower level and they do all these hands. It's, Two different things go on at the same time, like the meticulousness of their hands and then they're kind of doing this little bit of a, a milking or moving at the same time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So many points, so many points, like they make sure to stick a point they make sure to execute a specific point before they move on to the next thing that's why i'm saying that this is not um messy because they're not like doo -doo -doo -doo, like all over the place they stick it first they do this they like their isolation is just so on point that step it, it's so it's so cool I, I don't know other word to say about other than that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, how many times am I going to say musicality? If I took a shot for every time I say musicality, I wouldn't even be sitting here right now. It's changed up so much. Get it, get it, get it, and then all of a sudden the, the kicks happening on the side and then popping. It goes from the uh, vocals then to the instrumental again, as I've pointed out before. Gosh, I mean, the same choreography, but the fact that they changed up the formation of it. Like, they rotate it from the line while doing the choreography. It's... It's coming even more alive than it ever was. Yes, seriously, that step, step, step is so. And this damn part, they domino the line. How dare they make it even more cool than it was? Than it was. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I want to watch this whole chorus again. No, I didn't go back far enough. There we go. It's so fun. This choreography is fun. Woo! Sexing! Heyman got me here sounding like an idiot. Okay. I just had to take a breather moment there. I'm glad that we get this little bit of a breather moment so I can mentally calm down. Mmm. I love this part, how 
as he's coming through the line and as he's walking through, they kind of come alive in their movement. And then he starts this whole thing and it's so static in the way he's moving, but it requires technique and the dancers adding along with it is very cool. Let me go back. Mm. The pop. Oh gosh. Dun, 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 dun. It's it's so cool because the fact that they repeated the pop pop that 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 they did that three times. So I'm kind of like sitting here anticipating on what's gonna change up. And when it changes up and it's hitting the musicality, I'm like, oh, what the hell was that? Okay, let's go back. Mm -hmm. That makes me think of a conductor. Like I'm, I'm thinking back to my violin days, and I see my conductor going all crazy when the music gets cool. It's kind of interesting. I don't. Again, I don't know if that's the um, intention, but yeah. Whenever I used to perform with my violin orchestra and we get to the ending the crescendo you know i see my uh, conductor going all crazy and stuff so um i like that they if that was the intention of like this conductor move because they started like with this and then dun, 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 dun. so um i like that they added that for the ending to give it that more of a finale finish mm. What the hell is with that musicality? Like, <sighs> like what the? That's you. Know, how many time I? How many times am I gonna repeat unpredictable musicality? But seriously, the. It's very fun. It's like a really fun switch of musicality. Okay, I want to see this again. Ooh. That's, it's, okay. Yeah, this musicality is just getting more sexier as the choreography goes. Oh, he does it so effortless! And this! I love the controlling. It makes me think of the beginning, how uh, the musicality and the movement of the formation was up to Taman being, hmm, kind of being the conductor. Like it's up to conductor for which part of the orchestra and the band crescendos and what part goes quiet. So um, yeah, again, it kind of feels full circle to kind of return back to the concept of the beginning, where it's up to Taman to control the right side and all of a sudden control the left side. Ooh, this is fun. This is so fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Center stage for the well-deserved artist who is Taman. Okay, yeah. Um, how long have I been recording? Quite a long time. This is gonna be quite a long video. I'm. I mean, I do edit and cut out certain parts that I just maybe repeat too much or stammer too much. However, I feel like everything that I said from the beginning where I talked about advice to song and everything I said about the choreography, I'm going to keep a pretty good portion of it in because as I said in the beginning, Taman deserves all the credit he can get. He works so damn hard and it shows the quality of his content is the proof of how great extraordinary of an artist Taman is. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for checking out this video here with me on my YouTube. I hope you have a great day. And until the next video coming up, peace.